Hi and welcome to Game of the Week! So we're here on the fourth day of our second week playing Forza Horizon 4. So in yesterday's video I spent a lot of time just looking for a barn find. We found the barn find and we did that and then we went and did a race. And we changed the springtime and now we're going to be doing more races in springtime working towards the spring showcase which hopefully I will have unlocked by tomorrow's video. So that's where we're gonna pick up the action. So I've also switched cars now. I'm in this brownish orange Aston Martin. So we're gonna, I already have a race selected so I'm just heading over there and I wanted to do it in style in this beautiful looking car. I would I would definitely drive this car. If somebody was like, hey, do you wanna drive an Aston Martin? I'd be like, yes please, very much so. This car is beautiful looking. Hey, I've discovered the Lake Lodge house. I haven't figured out why I would ever need to spend money on another house other than like having a point that would be like close by or something. I don't know, let me. I thought I had that like the that selected. I don't know. I guess I didn't have that selected, but at least I was still heading in the correct direction, so we're gonna keep heading there, which was my intention originally. I guess I just stopped paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, look out. Oh, and I bumped into that Mazda with the bike on the top, which I remember wondering in last week's videos that if I bump a car with the bikes on the top, if um, the bikes fall off. Apparently, if you bump it lightly, the bikes do not move. I almost kind of want to do the race in this car, but you see, I haven't tuned this car up yet. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do another race in the Lamborghini. I don't know what I need to do. Like, I like doing races in cars that I have tuned up. And I have the money. I could actually actually take the time, spend the money, and tune it up. But I feel like I haven't started enough videos with just, like, a race. Like, pretty much right off the bat. So, I am going to just do a race right off the bat. So, I got a circuit race coming up. All right, let's get through here. Yeah. Oh, but speaking of cars I've tuned up, I could do something in a car that I've tuned up. I could do it in the uh, in the original blue Ford Focus that uh, I got in the very first Ford Horizon 4 video. Um, I could do that because I have I have spent all the money and put all the best parts in it, and I put a body kit on it. It's gorgeous looking. All right, what? All right, there we go. Solo race. All right, I'm gonna change my car to the Focus RS. There we go. This is gonna be great. I promise you guys are gonna like this. It's gonna be exciting. The car's super like fat now. See, I added those things onto it. There we go. The Glendale Club Circuit. Let's do it. I'm ready for this. Yeah, and the Focus RS. Yeah, let's pop all the doors open. That hood will come up. The doors will open and the back will open and it'll be exciting. Yeah, there we go. This is a fun fun loading screen because if you change the car for every single race every time it loads you get to look on the insides of all new cars now I keep using the same cars over and over again now that's kind of a silly look because that back thing that security thing or whatever that pop-up thing comes up so you can't really see it's just blackness you can't see what the backs of the back seats look like and that's what we're really here to see is what they look like all right let's start this race I'm ready for this all right I like that it no longer does a countdown it just says go yep there we go all right, so this car I have tuned up very much. It should do quite well in this, unless everybody else has tuned their car up to have almost 600 horsepower. But who who would be crazy enough to put 600 horsepower into a hatchback? I would think that would be almost undrivable, right? But I, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it wouldn't be. Maybe it would be amazing, but I would think that's a lot of power for not a lot of car, but uh, I don't know. I mean, if you really think about it, a lot of cars that are powerful, like super powerful Lamborghinis, they're actually not big cars, necessarily. They're big engines in not that big of cars. But I don't know, like a hatchback is much smaller than like a Lamborghini, but I guess I don't really know the sizes of these cars like comparatively to others. Like, all the supercars are all shorter than all regular cars. Regular cars are taller than supercars for whatever reason. There's never been a tall supercar, I don't think. If you're a car expert and you know that there's been a tall supercar, leave a comment, let me know. I'd actually be very interested to know what that tall supercar was. I mean, I know there have been cars that are of taller stature that can go quickly, but I mean... It, like that barn find that we got yesterday, the Jaguar XJ220, um, that is not a tall car by any means. Like, the Ford GT40, the 40 in that is because it's 40 inches tall. And, uh, that's very short. That's, uh, just... Let's see, that would be... That's under four feet. That's, like, a little bit... That's, like, three and a half feet tall. That's not a tall car. It's very low. Which, also, that, that would be a very cool car to have in this game. But it's extremely expensive. It costs ten million dollars in this game. And I only have one point something million, and that's... That's only 10% of what I need to actually afford that. So maybe I can get one in a wheel spin. I don't know if they ever put Classic 4 GT in a wheel spin. I, I can't say that they ever have because in all the games that I've played, I've never gotten one in a wheel spin. So, but I don't know. I mean, I've never gotten everything that a wheel spin has to offer either. So I don't know. I wonder, I think this game has like Horizon themed cars like Forza Horizon 3 did. Um, Forza Horizon 3, you'd get like these special uh, Forza Horizon cars that like, have their drift boost set, but I guess the uh, 
uh, skill sets for each car kind of function the same way. So you can actually, the more you drive a car, actually build those skills into it so that it's like it has drift boost and it has speed and skills boost and stuff like that. Because it didn't mean that the car was better at that. You just got more points for when you did it in that particular car. So I guess I guess that's kind of how they changed it in this game is that that's, it more functions that way through the individual car skills. Chickens, look out. Why were they all gathered in the middle of the road? They were like, well, the cars aren't here now. And this is a circuit race. So it's like we were just there, you know, up to like, I don't know, 45 seconds ago. So it's just like they're like, all right, they're gone. Let's get back out in that road. Surely they're not coming around again. The thing is, it's a three-lap race, chickens. We're going to keep coming around. We're going to come around three times. Those chickens don't care, though. Those chickens are only concerned with themselves. They don't think about anybody else or their own safety. They're just concerned about whatever the heck is in the road, which I can't imagine there's anything left in the road, especially after 12 cars have driven over it at over 100 miles an hour. I don't know. Those chickens might just be really dumb. I don't know. There we go. I finished first place. Wasn't even worried. There we go. Got through that. Yeah, I, I still need to change that dance. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. All right, so we got two focuses, and uh, is that a Vauxhall? Might have been. I don't know. Here we go. 1.1 million. Still working on it. Nowhere near that necessary 10 million to get that. But you can get 10 million dollar cars in wheel spins because I've done it. I know you can. All right. There we go. Did I? Oh, because I leveled up, I should get a wheel spin, right? Let's see. Modern supercars T. Cool. Oh, I'm working my way towards the super wheel spin. There we go. My influence is going up. So I have 20, two, 227,000 influence points. What am I going to get? What am I going to get? What am I going to get? Here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. Something cool. Something cool. Something cool. $160,000 is very cool. Or I could have gotten a 1970 Corvette, which that also would have been cool. I see those driving around. I feel like I saw one of those driving around like in real life yesterday. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Welcome so they're like, well, you've done enough of those races. So here, here's more races that you can go and do. All right. I do want to do a race in that Aston Martin. I think that would be really cool. So let me... Let me get to a place where I can actually work on tuning the car up. I don't think I can just tune a car up from right here. Now, if I can just tune a car up on the side of the road, I will absolutely do that. No questions asked, but I don't think I can do that. All right, let's get to cars. Let's see, my cars. Uh, let's go back to that Aston Martin. Yep, get in car. Yes, I would like to have the car delivered to you. That's a feature that they've re-added from uh, for Orster Horizon 2. I can't remember, I know that feature was definitely available in the Xbox 360 version, but I don't think that feature was available in the Xbox One version of Forza Horizon 2, so I'm glad that they've added it back into Forza Horizon 4, because it's nice to be able to switch your car and not have to drive back to a hub or your house or your base or whatever to switch cars, because that kind of got old. But uh, So it is nice to be able to just switch them on the fly, because one thing that I like to do was see how fast I could get them going, because in Forza Horizon 2 there was like a, a runway or something, which I feel like I saw that there might be another one somewhere on this map in this game yeah right there there's a there's a run runway right there where you can just like get up to a top speed so i'd like to like take the car over there and see if i can actually get up to a top speed there but what was i talking about uh i was gonna take the aston martin and i was gonna tune it up at well that'll be closer than the actual house so i'm gonna turn around and we're gonna take it there we're gonna tune it up get it going real fast and then we're gonna take it in a race it's gonna be awesome all right so there we go that burnout should have gotten me some influence points right no no influence points for that? All right, fine. Ah, this car is so pretty looking. I like it. Here we go. The design of it. Like, it sits, it looks like really fat. Like, especially in the back, but I'm very much, like, I, I guess I never really thought about Aston Martins, but they really are good looking cars. Like the James Bond Aston Martins, those are great looking cars. Are you kidding me? Super cool movie cars. I like, I loved how they brought back the DB5 in uh, Skyfall. And they had like the dun 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 that music that came in when he was driving around. I really got I, I I I will admit I enjoyed that part of the movie a lot. I really enjoyed it. And then that car just got super destroyed later. Sorry, spoiler alert for a movie that came out six years ago, but it's a good movie. You should go check it out. Also, that song by Adele that opens the movie. Hey, the extra the extra two twenty is ready in the garage, so we can collect it. All right. So when we get to the place, we can also check out the Jaguar extra two twenty. Maybe instead of taking the Aston Martin race, we can take the Jaguar out because that would be a fun car to go. So, yeah, so when you get a barn find car, they do take a minute to uh, restore them, but then when you get them, they're usually in great shape and they're gorgeous looking and cool. Although, I like to tune cars up as, like I said, I like I want to do with the Aston Martin. I don't like tuning up barn find cars. I like them to be just the, like, the natural car that they are. And I know that, that might sound a little bit wacky, but that, I don't know, that's just like, I don't know, it feels better to leave it intact as to what it is instead of like, 
Because otherwise, you can just kind of keep putting the same engine in all the same cars, and then they all drive exactly the same. I kind of learned that the hard way in Forza Horizon 3, when it's just like, oh, all of these cars drive exactly the same now, because I put, like, a bunch of 6-liter V10s into all of my cars, so they all drive and sound the same, and they all have the same top speed and the same horsepower, so there wasn't any real, like, difference between them. Hey, my influence went up for some reason. All right, 11,000 points. I feel like I should be able to get to those 11,000 points by the end of this video and the next video, and then and the next video on the Spring Showcase, whatever that's going to be. That'll be exciting. I'm ready for that. All right, so there's that danger sign where I flew that Bugatti 500 feet, or 900 feet, in the first week of videos. There we go. Let's get around here. Drift a little bit. Do that. I feel like I should get more than 100 points for a drift because I did a really good job drifting that car. An Aston Martin would be such a fun car to drift, although I'd be so nervous to drift it because it's like, this car costs so much money. I think an Aston Martin will run you like $200,000 or something. Like, it's a lot of money. It is so much money. But, I mean, they're cool looking cars. I don't know how long they last. I don't know, but I'd be the person, I would drive it everywhere, because I'm like, I spent a lot of money on this car, and it looks cool. I want it to be everywhere, you know? Whereas people are, like, very delicate with their cars and stuff like that. All right, let's check out this barn find, the Jaguar XJ220. I'm really excited. I want to see it. It's going to be really cool. All right, let's go to the garage. we got a barn find. Let's collect it. Where's it at? Jaguar XJ220. Okay, so it's the third one. So there are still all these other cars to find, which I think is a record for the most barn finds that they've ever included in a Forza Horizon game. Now, when they uh, have, uh, like, the DLC maps that they do, normally they add one or two more barn finds onto that. There we go. There's that car. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. This car is beautiful. Love it. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we're going to race in this car. And I know it's a precious car that was just, like, restored and all that. But, like, all right, I'm going to select that. Yeah, we're going to get in this car. Of course we're going to get in this car, this very low-profile car. I don't know, actually, how tall the car is. I mean, I'd have to put it next to a GT40, which I know is exactly 40 inches tall, and then I would have a better gauge of, like, is it a lot taller? Is it shorter? I don't think it's shorter. I don't think anything's been shorter. Maybe it is. I mean, unless you kind of convertible with the top down, and then in which case it's just, like, where the doors are. I don't, I don't know. I'm overthinking that, and I'm thinking too much about it. All right. Here we go. We're going to take the car out. We're going to select a race. We're going to do a race in this super cool Jaguar. And I know that anybody who's British is going to say I pronounce that weird, but I would say the uh, I would say that right back to them. All right. So let's find a I've done all the nearby races. Uh, there's a dirt race. There's a cross country race. Um, is that a that that seems like it's going to be a terrible idea to take this car on a dirt race. Why would, there's a cross country race. That one could be fun. Let's do that. This car is not meant to drive in such an event. It doesn't make any sense. There's no reason to do it. But I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, this car steers insanely. All right. So this is one of those. This is gonna be a very wacky thing that I do with this race. It is not gonna make a whole lot of sense why I'm doing it this way. Look out, look out car. Okay, you're turning. We're good, we're good. I can go around that. Oh yeah, now this car is very fast. Just like at, at stock, this car is very fast. I think it's top speed, like, is somewhere 210, somewhere in the ballpark of that. I know that the fastest cars right now are north of 250, but, and I think that there are cars, I think right now the challenge is to break 300, which would just be an insanely high speed. And I remember when I was doing Forza Horizon 3 week, I wanted to break the speed zone barrier, and uh, one of the things that I found was somebody was setting a over 300 mile an hour speed zone thing in a Range Rover. I don't know how they did that. That doesn't make any sense. That defies all science. A Range Rover should not be able to top 300 miles an hour. That's like getting into airplane territory. And it's like an SUV. That doesn't make any sense. Like if a car's gonna go 300 miles an hour, it should look something like this, right? It should be a very sleek and aerodynamic car, you know? All right, let's get over there. We're Oh, there's an influence board. Yeah, and I need to hit as many influence boards as I can get, because now if I find 11 influence boards, that means it's time for the spring showcase, and I'll knock that right out. But I'll get probably 2,000 influence points, so if I just find a handful of influence boards as I drive along, where is it? Where is it? On the road? That doesn't make sense. It's not on the road. It's down underneath the bridge. All right, I'm going to go underneath the bridge to get this... Board. All right, just go in reverse. It's gonna be fine. That bus is like, what in the world is that car doing? Deliberately backing in and driving down in the water, right? You would never drive a Jaguar XJ220 under a bridge in the water like this. That just, you could never do it. It would be like, just the worst thing you could do. As I said, it would be the same. It would be the worst thing you could do with like a Lamborghini. So there we go. Oh, I've Explorer rank five now. Ooh, I got a wheel spin. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Something fun, something exciting. 
Show me. BMW. Oh, no. That's just the starting point. It's like, here's the thing you're not going to get from this. All right. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Ooh, we got a quick draw emote. So that means we can do like, whoosh. we can do one of those. All right, cool. So I have a lot of wheel spins remaining, actually. So uh, I'll have to get back to those at some point. But for right now, we are going to go and do a cross country race in a car that is not meant to do it. Because if I can still win that, that'll be fun, right? Look out! Okay, we're good. All right, we're doing fine. Everything's great. We're having a great time. How fast am I going? 160-ish? There we go. All right, this car can go so much faster, though. Although, I need to find a really straight section road to actually pull that off. Like, I need to find, like, a really long runway because it's still speed-wise. Like, I don't think you could, on a runway, ever get this car up to, like, 200 and some. Like, I think you would need just miles and miles and miles of straight road to actually pull that off. All right, there we go. So, no, see, I just took the corner of the roundabout game. It's fine. I'm always going to do that. I actually took the roundabout the American way, which you go around to the right, not the left, because the, le the going around to the left just feels wrong to me. And it should, because I'm in America, and we would never do that. Like, I've seen people go left and around about in the United States. It is a stressful situation. Am I going to get a training paint thing there for that? No? No? It was a, Oh, that was a near miss? I would have said I definitely saw sparks when I did that, but all right, fine. That's like the stone walls don't dent or scratch the car's body at all. I guess that's nice. Maybe they're just made out of styrofoam, maybe? I don't know. All right, there we go. We're bouncing. Yeah, no, this cross-country race is going to go great in this car. I have no doubts. Oh, I got a kangaroo, which was really exciting when it, the game is set in Australia. All right, so... All right, Bre Beach View Cross Country. Let's do it. Oh, that's going to put me in the Baja bug. Well, all right. I guess it's like, no, you are not doing this race in an XJ220. You can't. That's just wrong. It can't be done, and it shouldn't be done, and you can't do it. So I won't do it. I'll do it in the Baja bug. It'll be fine. Everything's great. Ah, You know, it's like I get a sore throat because it's like I talk so much so fast, and it's like I can't breathe. I need to just get in shape and, like, get my lung capacity up so that I can just talk for 20-plus minutes at a time. <laughs> All right, beach view, beach view cross country. I'm winning easily. Would I like to go to highly skilled for 20% extra credit? Sure, why not? I always said that I would increase the difficulty as I go along, so this should probably make it much more interesting. And I haven't tuned this car up, so this could actually be difficult, but it seems that it tunes all the competitive, like, cars up to be competitive against you, so... It probably actually really doesn't matter, but I haven't done one of the... I've only done one cross-country race in the entire Forza Horizon 4 so far. So, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Oh, get through there, get through there. Oh, we're sliding, we're sliding, we're sliding. But that has nothing to do with the seasons. It just has to do with the terrain and the tires that this car has on it right now. All right. The Aerial Nomad also would have been really good for this race, but I don't know why I wasn't allowed to use it. Oh, maybe it's because we're actually using much slower cars like, it's a different class of offer. Oh, because I don't have an Aerial Nomad. Because that was part of the showcase event. It's not actually part of this rate. It's not a car that I actually own. That's what it was. I just forgot to pay attention to what the game was talking about and how everything works. Oh, I'm going to get it. Because there's an Aerial Nomad. It would have qualified for that. I need to use that rewind. I was about to just go deep out into the sea. All right, just watch, watch the road. I just got too excited about passing that Nomad there that I didn't really think about what the... Uh, road was doing okay so just being in the water is actually super slippery which actually doesn't really make a whole lot of sense i would actually think that the water and the current and the waves would actually slow you down significantly but what do i know right or, oh yeah you might want to run sheep we're doing a cross-country race through here we don't want to smush you get out of the way i don't know why i made a sheep sound the moment i did it, i was just like oh why did you do that i regretted it you could even hear me pause to contemplate the horrible decision that I had just made so you can replay that over and over again and have fun laughing at my expense all right there we go turn 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 don't lose your position don't lose your position keep going where is everybody okay they're all back there this is good apparently the skill increase was a good idea I'm going sideways all right get through that we're kind of in a beachy kind of area and that's fun like that okay there we go Oof, I hope the beaches are okay as I'm recording this there's that hurricane that's hitting Florida right now hurricane Michael I hope everybody's okay. So, yeah, obviously, as you're watching this, man, this video was recorded a while ago, and it was. I, I'm going to be gone for a while again in October. It seems like every month I'm gone for, like, a week or so. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be gone again, so I'm pre-recording a lot of weeks of videos to get ahead. There we go. Won the race. Got that perfect. Although, I think by the time you're seeing this week of videos, I'm already back. So, I don't know. Or, no. No. You're not. I'm not back. I'm still gone when you're watching this. I don't know. It doesn't matter. No, I'd be back. I don't know. Let's see. It's November. 
No, it's Halloween. No, it's November. It's definitely November now. Because the last video was the Halloween video. Yeah. All right, so let's see. I got $6,200 for that. What did I get influence-wise? Got... 3,500 influence points, which is gonna get me close. Oh, there we go. Now I've got a Jeep. We got a free Jeep. Fantastic. The Jeep Trail Cat has been unlocked. I was gonna guess it was a Wrangler. All right, so we're gonna do one arm push up. It's the next emote that I'm going for. We're getting real close. I'm only 4,000 and some change away from unlocking the Spring Showcase, which means that in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna be doing the Spring Showcase. So yeah, I'm still having fun with this game. It's still continuing to unlock races for me, and I'm still continuing to explore the game and have a great time with it. So I'm looking forward to one more Forza Horizon 4 video tomorrow and I'm going to be doing the Spring Showcase and whatever that has in store for us. So um, hopefully you're going to be excited for that and you'll come back and you'll watch that. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. And also, if this is your first time to a Game of the Week video, welcome. We are so glad to have you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future Game of the Week videos coming up. And also, if you like me and want more of me in your life, you can follow me on my social media on Twitter and Instagram at Eric Gowder. Got the graphic right there on the screen so you know exactly how to find me there. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.